We are learning more about a Greensboro crash involving a Greensboro Transit Agency bus that left multiple people with injuries. About five people were on that bus when it slammed into a car and pushed it into a utility pole. Yeah, this is video of that scene behind us in that very moment that Chad's talking about. The driver of the car was taken to the hospital with serious injuries. Fox 8's Aaliyah Sims is live at the intersection of Yanceyville and Cypress Streets where roads were closed for hours yesterday evening so crews could remove those vehicles. And Aaliyah, we've since learned that hundreds of people lost power when the bus collided with the car into a pole. Well, Natalie, the power has been restored and this pole has been fixed. Here's the evidence of what happened here around 6 o'clock yesterday. You can see the skid marks and glass here on the scene. Now, people living here in this area, they tell me that the intense impact was so intense that they had their homes shaken and neighbors came outside to see what was going on. Tuesday morning. A neighbor living at the intersection of Yanceyville and Cypress Streets in Greensboro began filling up a trash bag of debris left from Monday night's crash. This is the worst accident by far that I have seen. This is the video from the accident she's talking about. It happened around 6 o'clock Monday. It feels far towards Cypress Street and Yanceyville Street. 1050 TI, possible vehicle overturned, fire and EMS responding. It's going to be a, involving a city bus, one caller devising one pin against the light pole. In the video, you can see the shattered window on the GTA bus, an overturned car, a mangled bike all slammed against a utility pole. Five people were on the bus at the time and suffered minor injuries. The driver of the Kia sedan was taken to a hospital with serious injuries. They're unable to advise on injuries. They're trying to extract the occupants of the vehicle. Police review video from the bus and say the driver of the Kia failed to stop and was pushed by the bus into a utility pole, causing power outages to hundreds of customers in the area. Tuesday morning, crews repaired the utility pole. A neighbor who lives feet away from the crash site wasn't around at the time, but rushed home after getting a call from neighbors. Definitely a miracle that there are just minor injuries. So the crash was very close to my porch and the pole stopped the bus from coming into my house. Rap Dev, the city's contractor for bus operations, sent a statement saying, we are working closely with the Greensboro Police Department, the safety of the Greensboro community, our passengers, our employees, and the general public is our number one priority. And we wish a speedy recovery to those injured in the incident. Now, a spokesperson with the Greensboro Police Department tells Fox 8 that they have not filed any charges at this time. Now, neighbors tell me that they were not surprised to hear what happened here. They say that they have heard and called in several crashes in this same area in the past. Now, ahead at 6, why they say that this is a dangerous intersection and what they are hoping will be done about it. Live in Greensboro, Aaliyah Sims, Fox 8 News. Another crash.